13 acquisitions the last 12 months. We bought companies to build this vision. We're going after this. We're playing offense on it. eBay as a brand is going to change. 68 billion, as you saw, the 100 million active users. Over 300 million things for sale at any given second on our site. It went to 333 million. <laughs> we broke some, broke some of the capacity things we thought we were going to be hitting. But 333 million, and this isn't a spike. That's continuous. And it's going up and up and up because more and more people are listing. More people just keep adding more stuff in. And we start making it cheaper and simpler for them to do it, bang. And we start going over 100 and getting more, more sellers and buyers. It just gets bigger. Last year, we had to replace half of our equipment, our IT equipment. Refresh cycles. Can you imagine half of our infrastructure has to be replaced? On top of that, we had the largest new equipment request in the history of the company in a single year. <laughs> Everyone heard of big data? You know what that is? So big data is just, we're capturing data about all this, this information. Who knows what Hadoop is? Okay, <laughs> you probably would. Um, all right, I got three people to know what Hadoop is. Well, guess what? You all are feeding it. You don't know it, but you are. It doesn't matter where you are. You're doing something with it. You go to a Google search. You go do an eBay transaction. All of that activity is captured. Now, why do they capture that? because they want to understand how you think. Hadoop is a data analytics engine. What it means is it captures all the information and is able to make sense out of that. I'll give you an example. We, had, uh, we put a small Hadoop cluster, and what that really means is there's 500 servers with uh, 10 terabytes of drives in each. Okay, So a small cluster of storage with a bunch of computers in it. We captured all this, this information about people on the site. And then we ran this algorithm. And with it, we found that these users were clicking three times to get somewhere, right? OK, three clicks doesn't sound like much. But then what that happened after the third click? A lot of them went to Amazon. Interesting. Why did they go to Amazon? They got frustrated. <laughs> and we found when we got rid of those, it made it two clicks. It had a 1% lift in GMV. OK, and this is simple stuff. It's when you're sitting on a site and you're waiting, like, ah, forget it. I'll go find something else. That happens all the time. So if you find it and it's relevant to you, because we understand that, you know what? You happen to have bid on all these different things, but you didn't win it. You'd purchase these other things. You search these pieces. You know what? There's a trend in there that you really like this stuff. And you might like this stuff around that. So you suddenly make it very simple for them to find what they want. Most people will buy something. It's the share of the wallet. It's clicking through. So big data has gotten really big for us. I'll give you an example of that. We've deployed over 50 petabytes of storage in the last six months. Let me get that in perspective for you. 50 petabytes. Two petabytes is every book in every US library. OK, so big data clusters are massive. And we're not the biggest. Yahoo, Facebook, Google. Imagine the amount of data that's actually generated right, and captured around there. OK, but this is, this is really important because when you're doing retail, you need to understand your customers. And understanding your customers, you're going to be able to give them what they're looking for. But what that meant is we had huge undertakings in here because we're playing offense to go put together new ways to make it relevant to make our customers actually buy. Our search engine, by the way, isn't that